Meta telling Wall Street everything it needed to hear last night. Coming up on The Job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelaber here with Accenture Wealth Advisors. It is 8.04 here in the middle part of the country on Thursday. It is February 2nd. Happy Groundhog's Day to you. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. I want to start off here with some earnings. Meta last night crushed it. Revenue growth. We've got a $40 billion buyback on top of the already outstanding $50 billion share buyback. Listen. In addition to the headcount cuts, which we've seen all across the tech space, Meta has doubled down on its return of value to shareholders. Is tech now a value play? Guess what? Might be. And that's sort of why folks have been buying it in the 90s, the $100 a share. Now, back up to 180 Listen, folks, Meta continues to be a cash printing machine even if they've lost a ton of money on their Oculus slash Metaverse boondoggle. On a go-forward basis, Facebook continues to deliver cash, and now they're delivering it back to shareholders exactly what Wall Street wanted. And listen, investors will reward you if you do what they want. In this case, returning cash to shareholders, much like Big Oil has done. Shell also this morning with record profits. Now, they do a little bit more ESG than the other majors, BP and Shell, they're in Europe. But anyway, listen, if you return cash shareholders in this environment, it's generally going to be a good thing. Speaking of good things, profits in Europe, Ferrari. Look at this, 16% jump in core earnings. They say their order book is relatively full for 2023 and filling up for 2024. Listen, you've had a number of years where assets have appreciated. Folks are feeling flush and they're buying race cars. Ferrari continues to be a play on the ever burgeoning wealthy, wealthy, glut of wealthy people that have flooded the world over the last four years thanks to cryptocurrency and stock appreciation. This is capitalism turned on its head. Last but not least, let's talk about Europe Let's talk about the central bank increasing their interest rate by 50 basis points. You had the British central bank increase by 25. Of course, the Fed raised by 25 yesterday. Listen, as long as the economy is humming, and quite frankly, folks, it really is humming. I hate to be the bearer of good news. We will continue to see interest rates go up. And the Fed might not be done, right? We've got 25 bips here in February, looking for another 25 bips in March. The market then thinks, we will be done. We will pause interest rate hikes. Listen, as long as we continue to see good earnings, as long as we continue to see good news out of the broader economy, I don't see why we stop hiking interest rates. Inflation will come down, and then you're in a, in a really good spot. Hey, you've got real growth. Interest rates are somewhat normalized, so you can take them down. If we run into a hiccup, you're kind of entering a really good spot economically, and folks don't want to hear it. It's all bad news, bears, all the time, because that's what sells. Folks, look at the data. You'll be pleasantly surprised. If you want some additional info throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I'm out there. Until then, you and your family have a wonderful Thursday. I'm out.